uses of a ticker tape timer okay so ticker tape timer it can be used to measure time okay the tick right and uh, it can be used to analyze the movement of an object like what we do just now okay from the distributions of the dots then we know it's uh, accelerate or decelerate uh, we can also use it to find displacement that is the distance between the dot eh? that's a displacement uh, we can also use it to find the average velocity and we can also use it to find accelerations okay so it's a very useful thing sir. okay it's a very useful instrument you can uh, we use it to measure time actually uh, we use it to measure time and displacement eh? time and displacement and then by using time and displacement then we can find the uh, velocity and accelerations okay Mm -hmm. So that is the uses of uh, ticker tape timer. Finding velocity from uh, the ticker tape. Eh? Okay. Now finding velocity is easy. Okay. But finding acceleration is hard. Eh? Okay. Mm, okay. Let's see this one. Eh? Example two. So we have this uh, ticker tape, and then uh from here we learn that from the first dot to the last dot the distance is 15 cm 15 cm okay so if we want to find the uh, velocity okay velocity yeah? if you still remember velocity v is equal to displacement divided by time right okay now in this case the displacement is already given eh? okay it's uh, from the first dot to the last dot, the, the, the displacement is 15 cm eh? So displacement 15 cm. Then how about the time? How much time taken from this dot to this dot? Okay, then we need to count the number of tick. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. Okay, 15 ticks. Huh? So the time is equal to 15 multiplied by 0 0.02. Okay, so this is equal to 0 0.3 seconds. So the time taken is 0 0.3 seconds. Okay, so, so therefore the velocity is uh, 15 divided by 0 0.3 is equal to 50. Yeah? Okay, 50 meter per seconds. Okay. So that is how we find the velocity. It's very easy, right? Okay, just take the distance divided by the time taken. The time taken is you count the number of ticks. Okay, this one. Uh, this one I want you to give. I want you to give me your answer. Okay, let me see. Uh, cm. Yes, it's not meter. Cm. Okay, because this is given in cm, so it's cm per second, it's not meter. Okay. Yeah? Uh, okay, this one. Now this one they only give from this dot, uh, the first dot to the second last dot. So then you do don't include this, okay? Because sometimes uh, students uh, for the distance they take twelve cm, but when they when they count the number of ticks, uh, they include this one, okay? So don't include this tick, uh, okay? Because the distance is from this dot to this dot. So when you find a time, you must find a time from this dot to this dot only. Yeah, uh? don't include this this one. Okay, so I want you to give me your answer. Example three, find the velocity. Eh? Find the velocity. Give me your answer. So what's the velocity? Okay, so velocity equal to displacement divided by time. The displacement is 12 cm. And the time taken, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. 6 multiplied by 0 0.02 seconds. And this is equal to 100. Okay, so units is 100. 12 divided by 6 tick. 6 tick is 6 times 0 0.02 seconds, which is uh, 0 0.12 seconds. 